Hello everyone, a quick video for this very unlucky Ryzen 5 undervolt um, memory tuning. So, TM5 passed, a couple of Limpac runs passed, some ADA64 numbers, and the voltages here. Uh, so, this machine was only stable. I mean, not really only stable, but get the best performance with 3000 on the memory and 2000 on the infinity fabric clock and the curve offset was only 11 so uh, that actually contradicts some of the claiming claims that usually people i mean the smartest people uh, well whatever the normal people would assume that a lower curve offset means a better cpu but then you can argue that actually it's just an offset on the AMD value, uh, like predetermined value by the AZ quality. So you could have a, like a very uh, lucky chip that has a very low uh, voltage by default. And then uh, you can only curve offset a very tiny amount before it actually gets unstable. While you can have a very a lucky chip that has a lot of overshoot on the voltage and result in a higher number on the PBO curve optimizer negative offset. But this machine is only stable at 12. And that is with a, a lot of uh, like a very cold environment and a lot of fans all around. And also, uh, I forgot to say that I decided to set a very low power thermal throttling limit to make sure that the system doesn't get unstable later. And so VDIO memory is super high compared to my previous uh, Ryzen 7600 on this same motherboard, which is this the HDV Dual Dim from ASRock, like uh, a very, very nice board with very nice VRM and everything. So SOC is 124, which again is super high for a 2000 Infinity Fabric and 2000 and 3000 memory clock. And so, yeah, all points to a very, very awful sample. Those two are quite low compared to the previous machine that they did, but I didn't really uh, bottom them out pre before, I think. Um, I guess they worked, they work here and they don't like uh, cause any performance regression, so I kept them like this while I was noticing some performance regression when I lowered them more. Um, yeah, memory settings are very, very standard. This is a th CL3838 kit, but it actually runs a slightly tiny better on the Limpac on 3939. Um, TR5. I didn't, I didn't uh, raise it that much because um, for this system I tried a new system, a new method of testing by putting a, a GPU box on top of the machine and running the stress test with the GPU on the, on the top and the glass on, so and and the rear fan disabled and the, every other fan disabled other than the CPU fan to test for uh, high heat. Uh, environment and um, yeah that showed me that i cannot raise the trfi to the max of course so i decided to keep it lower so to avoid issues when the actual gpu for this machine arrives which will be a 7800 xt and um, yeah so that's really all for this very unlucky cpu and memory combo oh the memory is a uh, micron i think let's see if i can find anything about this, uh, this should be uh, Micron. So these are team group Micron memories, and um, yeah, these are the voltages for this, which is again quite high for for this kind of frequency and timings. So yeah, really terrible. And ciao.